It was Christmas Eve at Granny's. It was Granny's Christmas Eve. And all the children were gathered there. There was Anita and Agnieszka. There was Eva and Andrew. There was Piat and Anna Marie. And there was Marisha. And all of them had gathered together for the Christmas party. They'd even gathered together to form a Christmas play. And they were going to do Bugs and Malone. And they sung and danced all night through, doing everything that the children do. And then it was all of a sudden time for the Christmas meal. So they all sat down and pulled crackers and ate the fish dinner that was prepared by Granny, who did it with all their loving care. Then eventually they were waiting for shush, you know, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Eve, on Christmas night. Santa Claus, you got it. But one of the children said, Where is Santa Claus? And we all said, Let's go outside and see what we can see. So they all went outside, and what was there? Flying through the sky. Now all the children thought that it was Santa Claus, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and his sleigh. But their wise old uncle turned to them and said, No, 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 that isn't Santa Claus. That is Gertrude the Flying Pig. And all the children, filled with children, Christmas ecstasy, turned to their wise old uncle and said, Whom is Gertrude the Flying Pig? And their wise old uncle said, Is a fictional character just made up by me at this very moment in time. But that who it is, the flying through the air. And Gertrude the Flying Pig is one of Sanders' helpers. And what Gertrude the Flying Pig does is she flies in front of the sleigh and spotting out all the good children and all the bad children. And if she sees the bad children, she say, Don't go there, Santa. Don't go there. You can't fulfill your Santa Claus if you go to the wrong people's houses. You must only go to the good children's houses. And the question was that was being asked of all these sweet little children was, Are you all being good? And they all said, Oh my God, it really is Gertrude the Flying Pig. And their wise old uncle said, You got it in one, children, because that is certainly who it is. Now, have you all been good? And from that moment on, every Christmas, these children would go looking, searching the skies for Gertrude the Flying Pig. And one of the aunties was actually in the shop in Blackpool one day, and she was much to her surprise, stunned, when she actually found Gertrude the Flying Pig. And she said, I'm going to take it to the wise old uncle, who still has that flying pig now, sat on his dresser, and they can see it as we speak. And he waves to Gertrude and says, Are you ready to go and do the Christmas do? Because this year, not only have you got to go and see about all those wicked children that we spoke about earlier, Anita and Agnieszka, Andrew and Eva, and Piot and Anna Maria, but there's also an, a completely new wicked bunch of kiddies to, be, to deal with as well, called Reese and Tristan and Dion and Anna May and Jake and Ollie and Max and who knows what other creepy little kids could turn up to this Christmas do. But always remember kiddies, one thing that there'll be a certain pig watching all over you. And that certain pig, of course, is the immortal Gertrude the Flying Pig. She was there when your parents were children and she's there now and she'll be there on Christmas Eve looking down saying to Santa Claus Mmm Santa I don't know whether it's a good idea or not, but if you want to drop some presents off, feel free to do so. Merry Christmas, Sir Gertrude the Flying Pig.